regular council meeting of Tuesday, October 12, 2021 at 7.30 p.m. Uh, Scout Colin, would you lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, please? All rise. Please face the American flag. Say Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, sir. Madam Clerk, a roll call vote, please. Sakura. Here. Terezi? Here. O'Donnell? Here. Leon? Here. Ryan? Here. Townsend? Here. Mayor Gallandrino? Here. Thank you. Uh, at this point, we open up the floor for public comments for any items listed on the agenda. If there are any members of the public here to speak, uh, please step up now. It doesn't appear we have any. Uh, consent business, we do have one item that Madam Clerk has asked me to remove uh, for correction, and that would be the minutes of 9-14-2021. Madam Clerk, can I send that your way to speak to, please? Uh, yes, uh, Mayor Calandrino, thank you. I uh, had reported uh, that Catherine Francis from the library, the library director, had uh, a generous donation that was made to the library. Uh, to purchase a new drop box and instead they used that um, donation to uh, purchase new furnishings for a reading area that's dedicated to Catherine Manns. So I wanted to, um, to change that. I would need a motion to change that? Yep, we would need a motion to uh, approve the minutes of 9-14-2021 with the change Indicated by Madam Clerk. Support. Motion by Mayor Pro Tem Secora. Support by Councilwoman Terenzi. Any discussion? And Clerk, a roll call vote. Secora. Yes. Terenzi. Yes. O'Donnell. Yes. Dion. Yes. Ryan. Yes. Townsend. Yes. Mayor Calandrino. Yes. Thank you. Um, the rest of the items in consent business bills payable 2022 tax collection agreement. Uh, I would be looking for a motion to approve both of those items in consent. So, so moved. Motion by Councilman Terenzi, support by support. Councilman Dion. Yes, sir. Councilman. Did I say Councilman? I, I apologize. Council person. Council person. There you go. Uh, any discussion? Ma'am Clerk, roll call vote, please. Sakura. Yes. Terenzi? Yes. O'Donnell? Yes. Dion? Yes. Ryan? Yes. Townsend? Yes. Mayor Calandrino? Yes. Motion carries. We have no correspondence. Uh, new business. Item 5A, the Puff Utica trailer digital sign. That has been withdrawn from the petitioner. So we can move forward. Department reports. A uh, couple things I'd like to mention. Uh, number one. We had a pretty significant accident at Hall Road in Van Dyke late last week. I'd just like to say a big thank you to our fire, EMT, and police, all our first responders. It was uh, quite a long night. I know I was here doing paperwork, and I only saw all the sirens leaving the stations, and it was uh, quite a sight to see. Our guys did a great job, and uh, we appreciate everything they do. Uh, also, our DPW, we had two... Uh, significant water main breaks, one on Kemp Street, one on Auburn Road. Our DPW uh, crew handled it admirably. I know there was a lot of long hours because of that, and uh, we obviously got behind on other things uh, because this was an emergency, uh, but it was a great job by all hands. So thank you, Mr. Lane. Much appreciated. Um, next thing, I'd like to provide a quick update on the Cass Auburn Road reconstruction. Uh, that work started in earnest on Monday. Uh, DPW went around to all the businesses and the nearby residents and uh, distributed flyers with some of the details and detour routes. Uh, I went by there today. It doesn't look like too much has happened yet, but I'm sure we're going to be seeing some major work here in the next few days. Uh, next item, Christmas tree light contract. That information is in your packet. This is the same company we've contracted with for the past uh, two years, I believe. Isn't that right, Councilman yep. Dion? Yes, sir. 
Uh, the price went up uh, slightly, but it is well within what we budgeted for during budget. Uh, I would be looking for a motion um, to approve the contract with Landscape Services, Inc., and approve the amount of $3,500 to allow for replacement of any faulty strings of lights payable from the General Fund Department of Public Works Department, Christmas Lighting, Contracted Expenditure, Account 101441-801-000. Mr. Mayor, I'll make a motion to approve the contract with uh, Landscape Services Incorporated as presented, sir. Uh, motion by Councilman Dion. Support. Support by Councilman O'Donnell. Any discussion? I have a question. Yes, sir. It says that on here, it says the amount of, approve the amount of 3500 but on the contract it says $2,950. Uh, that doesn't include if they find any strings that okay. are no longer working. Thank you. I think he, if you read further, it says uh, 10 to 15 percent of the lights will not work from the previous year. Okay. They need to be replaced. As well, Mr. Mayor, that includes storage for the next, where they, they take them, put them up, take them down, and store them. Yep. Uh, and I talked to him, He's and I think that says it as well on the contract. Shortly after Thanksgiving, he didn't give me an exact day, and he said the earliest they would take him down would be January 2nd. So where were we? We had a motion and support. Any further discussion? Madam Clerk, roll call vote, please. Sakura. Yes. Terenzi? Yes. O'Donnell? Yes. Dion? Yes. Ryan? Yes. Townsend? Yes. Mayor Calandrino? Yes, motion carries. And my last item for the night, Parks and Rec Committee appointments. We have two folks that uh, graciously requested to be appointed to the Parks and Rec Commission. Uh, one is not able to make it tonight, and the other is here, I see. Uh, in your packet, uh, I have the emails that, uh, with their request. Uh, the first candidate is Riel Alexandria Chase. She's a resident of Shelby Township, and the second is Kayla Kalis, a resident of Utica, lives right around the corner from me and have known her for many, many years. So I would be looking for a motion to approve the appointment of both Riella Chase and Kayla Kalis. So moved. Support. Motion by Mayor Pro Tem Sikora, support by Councilman Ryan. Any discussion? Madam Clerk, roll call vote. Sakura. Yes. Terenzi? Yes. O'Donnell? Yes. Deanne? Yes. Ryan? Yes. Townsend? Yes. Mayor Calandrino? Yes, motion carries. Thank you. Uh, on to council reports. I'll start on this side. Councilwoman Townsend. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to get, give everybody an update on the Paint the Tunnel Day. It went fantastic. There was so much great energy. Everybody had a good time. The kids had a good time. Um, I was sorry to see that some people have already written over some of the artwork. Um, we expected that to happen because we haven't really put out a plan and addressed things yet. We have lots of ideas being thrown around. Um, I'm investigating them all and researching them all before I present anything. Um, you know, there's ideas from cameras to posting signs um, and then just even having people show more of a presence around the tunnel, you know, via artists, musicians. So we're look, this is an ongoing project. It's not going to be solved overnight. We know one paint the tunnel day isn't going to help. Um, but we're looking forward to doing it in the spring with the other tunnel. And by that time, we should have a plan put forth and working together, I think all of us can do it. I think that's about it for my update on Paint the Tunnel. Excellent. Anything Oh, else? and if you get a chance, um, there is a street artist who is working in the tunnel yesterday and today, and he's doing a beautiful piece of work um, with betta fish and all. It's very colorful. It's very beautiful. So if you get a chance, take a walk down there and check it out. Thank you. Fantastic. Anything else, Councilwoman Townsend? Councilwoman Townsend? <laughs> I, I don't <laughs> think so off the top of my mind. So, my turn. Absolutely. <laughs> Very good. Okay, so uh, I'd like to congratulate Olivia Thompson. She's a Utica High School uh, student who uh, is, was nominated as the homecoming queen, as it turns out. Her mom teaches at uh, Flickinger Elementary. 
And her grandma, you might remember, uh, is uh, Zeta Burton. And back in 2017, yeah, we uh, yeah. created the Zeta Burton Day here in the uh, city of Utica, Utica because uh, Zeta was announced as the Utica C Community Schools Teacher of the Year and then shortly retired. So congratulations to our chieftains on their victory over Warren Mott. And uh, just it was a great weekend with our DPW helping out, creating a path, a safe path for the... Um, yeah. The parade and our police officers and firefighters are participating to make sure everyone was safe and uh, everything worked out fantastic. So thank you uh, and uh, bottom line, go Chieftains. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Dion. Mayor Pro Tem? Nothing. 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 Uh, admin folks, uh, in preparation for city council nights, do you, I, so I know the building closes at 430. What I'm thinking is um, we do a maybe quarterly admin meeting uh, at the end of the day before council meetings since we're here already. Um, what are your initial thoughts on such things? Um, I can be available when you need me to be. <laughs> okay. All right, Quarter I'll quarterly out. sounds great. Gotcha. Uh, all right, I'll reach out to, uh, to Phil and shoot an email out to everybody and invite the rest of show. council. Yeah. And um, so that's admin. Um, and uh, planning commission was canceled. No items. Uh, yep, uh, a couple different things for me. Um, first off, the uh, for the Christmas tree lighting on December 11th, I've been coordinating with uh, Toys for Tots. The uh, Utica Firefighters Foundation is going to be doing a stuff and ambulance toy drive to assist with Toys for Tots. Toys for Tots, because of COVID, haven't been getting a whole lot of toys and helping needy families out. So during that event. Hopefully having a uh, Marine Corps presence and hopefully get some stuff for their organization. Also, along with that, uh, I've been meeting with the, uh, the police chief and the fire chief um, about once a month, um, about a week prior to the meeting, um, to try to stay abreast of everything that's happening at uh, both departments. Uh, considering the serious accident that we had on Van Dyke, and, yeah, on Hall Road at Van Dyke, and due to the many, numerous other excessive speeds that occur on Hall Road of people traveling in excess of 100 miles an hour, treating our roads as a glorified drag strip, it's only a matter of time before something significantly worse happens. And it's something that we need to take that into more of a forefront of taking action. Um, right now, it's the, uh, the way that the laws are written we can't impound these vehicles when they are stopped for driving these excessive speeds. Thus, they are given a civil infraction and they're sent on their way. And they're not, we're, we're not stopping the problem. Um, many other jurisdictions have looked at doing excessive speed ordinances. And I think it's something that we should consider doing to help our police department um, stop these speeders from using our roads as their racetrack. Uh, the second issue that, I, that I've been kind of monitoring for the past couple months is a traffic issue over at Hall and Vanker. Um, a lot of traffic likes to take the, uh, the Vanker turnaround going from eastbound to westbound, and that turnaround allows them to turn into the subdivision. Well, they stop at the stop sign, traffic gets backed up on Hall Road, and then when they try to cut across, they are broadsided by a car doing close to 60 miles an hour. Those accidents are occurring at that intersection multiple times a day and increasing in injury. So that's something that either needs to be evaluated by the county or something that we need to take action on and changing that type of intersection. Can I comment on two things you mentioned? Absolutely, sir. Uh, the excessive speed ordinance. I'd be happy to look into that and draft something up for council's consideration. Thank you. Um, I know in the district courts, because I prosecute all those cases, I've taken a, a hard approach on any reductions <clears throat> on anything that's excessive like that. Uh, about a week ago, I had a case where someone was doing 137 miles per hour. Wow. So, and... Um, correct me if I'm wrong on this, the way that Macomb County is currently running those excessive speeds, they're not allowed to be charged reckless, correct? If they're for speed alone. You know, I'd have to do some additional research on that. Okay. And I can certainly can work with, uh, you know, Sergeant 
Kluzny and our chief and make recommendations if I find they can be charged higher than what they're being charged. Yes. But yes. we're taking a very strong approach on them in court. <coughs> okay. Because yeah, just one of the things that I would like to see is give them the ability if they are driving in excess where they're basically racing or anything that's clearly at a dangerous speed where their, their vehicle can be impounded at that time. That's something that is more of something that I can see as a, an immediate action that can stop them from doing it in the future. I, I will look into the ordinance and if we have any other repercussions we can add and I'll have a report certainly before the next council meeting. Thank you. Probably a lot sooner. Thank you. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Councilman Ryan. Any other comments from council? I would like to give you your certificate, Kayla, if that's okay. And if you folks, your family is welcome to stay with you for the rest of this exciting meeting. Or uh, you can take your certificate and we'll catch up with you at the next Parks and Rec meeting. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, Did you have a second point on Mike? You said he had two points. You only brought up one. Regarding my two things. Oh, the Hall and Vanker, Thank yes. Um, I had a meeting last week uh, with MDOT. I still don't have all the details, but I know a long time ago, maybe a year ago, two years ago even, I think, yeah. uh, MDOT uh, announced that they were going to move the turnaround, which is directly after Van Dyke on Hall Road. Eastbound. Eastbound. So currently, as soon as you get past, when you're traveling eastbound on Hall Road, as soon as you pass Van Dyke, immediately there's that turnaround. It's quite dangerous because it, it fills up very quickly. Oftentimes cars are left, you know, kind of straggling in the middle of Van Dyke, you know, heading, again, heading eastbound on Hall Road. Uh, the idea was to move that turnaround further east, I believe at Vanker. Um, we don't have all the details yet. Uh, make it a two-lane turnaround and close that immediate turnaround off. Um, the work is scheduled to begin sometime in the winter. The, the light work, they're going to do get the lights all set up and bagged. And in the spring, uh, the plan is to actually start the, con the reconstruction work. So, you know, that may alleviate some of the issues that you mentioned on, at that turnaround at Banker and Hall. Anything further from council? All right, we have nothing from planning, assessing, or building tonight. So, Ms. Francis, report from the library. Nothing. Nothing from library. Uh, Chief Wilsek and Chief Cody are both excused tonight for family issues. Um, Councilman Ryan, do you have anything that you'd like to uh, present from fire? Uh, yes, the, uh, the one thing the chief wanted me to pass along, uh, well, the two things you wanted me to pass along, one thing will be covered, I believe, in Lori's portion. Um, the other thing, the only thing that the, the chief wanted to mention is that the new ambulance will be here next week, um, and due to uh, some other stuff, it will, we're going to receive it, and then we're going to resend it back out for the graphics. The graphics are already paid for. Is just to help get it here sooner so we can start working on um, getting the state inspection on it. Perfect. Perfect. Is That's that it? it? Yep. And we do have Sergeant Kluzny tonight uh, representing police. Yes, good evening, Mayor and Council. Um, police Department does not have any agenda items on our agenda for this council meeting, but our, what I want to do is just update you on a couple of things that we do have going on right now. Um, Councilman Ryan, you brought up the issue with speeding, at least on, on Hall Road. One of the largest concerns that we have is the speeding in our residential zone. As you're familiar, we, we did bring out the mobilized radar control sign, and we're having really great data coming back on that. So I just want to encourage everybody to reach out to me, call our non-emergency number, send me an email, and that way I can kind of determine where our areas of concern are within the city so we can get the sign out. Um, just recently, the sign is at Messmore and Custer, and when I send you some of the data on the sign, you'll be astonished at some of the speeds that we're getting. So based on that, I was able to get our officers and, and start really doing some increased uh, enforcement out there. So just want to encourage everybody, please reach out to me in non-emergency so we can really get this and hone in on where our issues are. 
Another thing that the police department that we're kind of excited about is we're going to be bringing in a new officer starting hopefully within the next week or two weeks. So by next council meeting, we'll be able to bring them in and, and officially swear them into the city. But we're really looking forward to this. We, we've had the approval from, from the budget that, that we appreciate. And this officer is coming from another city. He's currently in the military National Guard. He's got a four-year degree from Ferris State University. Just really, really sharp individual. Lives in the city. He's from Utica, so we're really excited to bring this guy in. Um, really, really think he's, he's going to be, you know, part of our future and moving forward. So I look forward to bringing him next council meeting in front of you and doing the official swearing in. Um, as for that, that's, that's all we have for the police department. So, thank, thank you, Sergeant Cluzet. Exactly I'd like to add that uh, on Sunday during the Lions' the weekly loss, <laughs> I sat at the intersection of Custer and Messmore because I knew that's where we had the mobile uh, radar sign. I sat there for probably 45 minutes, and I videoed with my phone every car that went through the intersection. I was amazed. I would say, I didn't do a scientific you know, analysis of it, but I'd say 80% of the cars didn't really try at all to stop. And there were at least three cars didn't stop and were going about 40 miles an hour, or maybe even in excess of 40 miles an hour through that intersection. So, and that's on a Sunday afternoon, you know, Sunday like 1.30 or whatever it was. So um, having that sign's great. I know you and I have looked at some of the data, and it's roughly 80, low 80% 80 of every car that approaches that sign slows down when they see that sign, and that's, that's major. Mm -hmm. um, and there's the data that you're gathering is going to be very useful in, you know, helping us as a city know how to staff our police department, know how to dispatch our, our crew, and, you know, try to alleviate some of the speeding in the residential areas. So thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, Mr. Lane, DPW report. <laughs> thank you, Mayor and Council. Uh, you should have uh, in your packet... Uh, a proposal from uh, Hubberoff and Clark in regards to our need uh, to meet the requirements of the America's Infra Water Infrastructure Act. Um, we need, we'll need to uh, engage the engineers in developing an emergency response plan for us. Um, it's similar to the emergency response plan that actually I did many, many years ago in regards to our Bioterrorism Act, um, but now the uh, EPA is requiring um, a, a new one, which is far more in-depth and in more detail with more data that's needed to uh, uh, comply with the act. Um, so uh, I don't know if there's any questions on the proposal. I'd be happy to try to do my best to answer those. Um, it's pretty well laid out of what they need to do and with our assistance to meet the requirement and they've uh, offered a, a not to exceed number of $9,900 to complete that and get that in force, keep us in compliance with our water system with the uh, EPA. It, what is the deliverable on this? Is it just like a, a, a manual, a, a report that they provide us? So it'd be similar, so there'd be multiple different forms. Um, some forms are just strictly data. Others would be a roadmap that in the event. So more specifically, the, the earlier one that I did was to meet our Bioterrorism Act in the event of, uh, I don't want to say domestic, but a, a, a Bioterrorism Act on, on our water system from outside sources, inside sources. Um, this one is more particular to do with the latest natural disasters that are occurring, um, the floods, the hurricanes, the, the, just the bad weather. So it's a, a different type of roadmap of how we would react to that. And it goes in more detail uh, with finances and um, uh, preparedness for different types of water. Uh, water issues. So to answer your question, it's a, there would be a roadmap that somebody should be able to pull out of a file in the event that uh, this disaster happened, we do this. Okay. Um, it's kind of like a guidance material of how we would respond 
and the things that, that, that you could pull from to uh, uh, make things happen. So, for instance, we keep currently under our emergency response plan, we have all of our critical phone numbers and an algorithm of, of procedures on who to call, how to call, if these people aren't available or if these tools are needed, things like that. So it would be, but it would be much more in depth and in detail, um, similar to what they described here. So. And as you and I discussed, uh, this isn't really an option, it's something we have to do. This is unfortunately another one of those unfunded mandates that are required, yes. Thank you. So Mr. Lane would be looking for a motion to engage Hubble, Roth, and Clark uh, at a cost not to exceed $9,900 for this ERP uh, response plan. So moved. Support. Motion by Mayor Pro Tem Sikora, support by Councilman Ryan. Any discussion from Council? Madam Clerk, a roll call vote, please. Sakura. Yes. Terenzi? Yes. O'Donnell? Yes. Dion? Yes. Ryan? Yes. Townsend? Yes. Mayor Calandrino? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Lang. Did you have anything else to? Uh, I just want to add additionally for that same item, it's currently budgeted for under engineering in the, the fiscal year budget for the Water and Sewer Department. However, um, we're going uh, in. in in addition to some other activities that we're, we're doing, um, we could see ourselves needing a budget amendment later in the year if some more engineering services come up that uh, we need to add. So currently it's budgeted for, we don't need an amendment, but we could, you know, just FYI, if we could, you know. Yeah, we, we love those at. unfunded mandates, don't we? That, well, that, mm, that something could happen, you know. <laughs> it does rain. Right, right, right. Anyway, thank you very much. So we appreciate your help and understanding with moving the processes forward. Thank you, Mr. Lane. Next on the agenda, our treasurer, Mr. Paternoster. Good evening, Mayor and Council. You have uh, in the packet a. Uh, an agreement from J.P. Morgan Chase Bank uh, to finance the purchase of the previously mentioned uh, ambulance. Um, on your table this evening, I presented you with an updated installment purchase agreement, which includes the interest rate and on the last page, the schedule of payments, uh, the interest rate had not been finalized uh, on Friday morning when the uh, initial uh, draft of the installment agreement had been submitted to me. Um, so the final uh, document has an interest rate of 2.25% per year. And that's for a tax exempt uh, borrowing. And uh, the purchase price is 200 $35,796. Installment term is 60 months, uh, payable annually. And the uh, annual payments will be $50,389.66. Total over the five years, $251,948.30. Um, there is uh, included in the uh, packet that was in your agenda, there's a uh, resolution that the council needs to adopt this evening. That uh, resolution authorizes Mayor Calandrino and or City Clerk uh, Cook to execute the documents on behalf of the city authorizes the purchase agreement in principal amount not to exceed $235,796. Grants Mayor Calandrino and City Clerk Cook the authorization to designate by written instrument signed by them, uh, specifically identified officers of, or employees of the city 
to execute and deliver agreements and documents relating to the purchase agreements on behalf of the city. <coughs> Agrees to pay all installment payments due under the purchase agreement and to levy such taxes as are permitted by applicable state law to pay all of the installment payments due and designates the purchase agreement as a qualified tax exempt obligation for purposes of section 265B of the Internal Revenue Code of 1986 as amended. Um, I will add that uh, this is a uh, this form of, of borrowing is not subject to the levy of special taxes. It has to be paid for from our uh, general operating budget. Um, we did budget uh, or, or we com the, the council committed when uh, authorizing the purchase of the ambulance to budget in each of the successive years the debt service payments. So I would ask for a uh, motion to adopt the resolution as presented. Mr. Mayor, I'll make a motion to adopt the resolution as presented, sir. Support. Motion by Councilman Dion, support by Councilman Ryan. Any discussion from Council? Madam Clerk, will call vote. Sakura. Yes. Terenzi? Yes. O'Donnell? Yes. Dean? Yes. Ryan? Yes. Townsend? Yes. Mayor Calandrino? Yes, motion carries. Thank you. Thank It'll be you. very nice to finally get this ambulance in Utica. Yes. Did you have anything else, Mr. Mr. Paternoster? At this I have time? nothing else to add. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Madam Clerk. Uh, yes, sir. Mayor and Council, I have an ambulance service settlement offer from Arbor Professional Solutions um, proposed by Acumed patient. Um, their total that they owe the city is $844, which includes $82 of litigation fees. Um, they are offering um, a settlement of $500, um, and I would be looking for a motion to either accept the $500 um, settlement offer, counter offer, or decline the offer. I believe um, Councilman Ryan might have something to offer in addition. So the one thing that uh, Fire Chief Wilsack asked me to pass along regarding this, um, he said to kind of look at this like similar to how we do water bills. Um, once we start opening the door, as far as people trying to pay on their, we're only going to cause further problems down the line when it comes to people paying their bills. Um, a lot of our funds for our ambulance service comes through these bills. I know uh, I had a conversation with Chief Wilsek as well. He said on this particular call we sent four of our crew to respond to this. We sent a vehicle there. Uh, and it was a mutual aid call as mutual well. Aid. I believe it was Sterling Heights. It was a mutual aid to Sterling Heights for a uh, cardiac arrest. Right. Um, I would just add to what Councilman Ryan said. You know, when we set precedent uh, making these settlements, uh, you know, we run the risk of making ourselves known as, you know, if, if you can't, if you don't want to pay your bill, just let it go to collections, ask for a settlement, and that's what Utica does. Um, you know, who picks up the bill? Utica residents. Uh, so I'm really not in favor of making these types of settlement agreements. I also talked to the chief after he gave me the details of how many people, uh, all of that. Again, you know me in water bills. Um, I do not want to set a precedent on just letting it be, let's make a deal after the service is rendered. So I would reject this now. If we counter with an amount or just put it back out and let them do something. But I, I, I would give them back the full bill and say this is what you owe. We have motion and then we can open it up for discussion. I will make a motion that we do not accept this offer of payment and that we send it back to them in the full amount due. Support. Discussion. discussion. Motion by Mayor Pro Tem Sikora, support by Councilwoman Terenzi. 
Uh, discussion by council? Yes, sir. So I would agree with uh, Mayor Pro Tem Sikora that, uh, and yourself, obviously. I think that um, maybe we could find a resolution by offering an extended time period in order for them to pay uh, the debt rather than uh, limiting the amount of debt recovered, perhaps extend the time period in which we would allow them to repay us. Would that be reasonable? Uh, to my understanding, this was already in collections, so yeah. they had an extended period already. Uh, okay. Do we know? It's, it's been two years. Yeah, oh. it, it's been it, since 2019. Uh, since previous the, this incident <laughs> occurred back in October of 2019. Okay. Do you know, have they explained a hardship or anything to that effect? I'm not aware. Okay. Well, then then, then that would withdraw my uh, suggestion. Then. Thank you. Well, Mr. Mayor, who, who, uh, who actually owes the, who's the debt? I mean, we're the debtor. Who's the debtee? The, uh, because, uh, you know, there's not an individual listed here. This is a... For for privacy purposes, I had okay, retracted yeah. well, the I, I guess patient's are we, name. Are we collecting against a collections agency or against the individual? We use uh, Arbor um, Corps to help us collect unpaid debts from police and fire department. Okay. So... Read, uh, our deputy treasurer is very good, tries very hard, and once she has reached a certain point, she passes it on to them. We do lose a percentage of what they owe us once it goes to collections. Right. Right. Thank you. Any further discussion from council? So just for clarity, uh, the motion on the floor right now is to decline this settlement offer and send the bill back into collections. Madam Clerk, roll call vote, please. <clears throat> Sakura. Yes. Terenzi? Yes. O'Donnell? Yes. Dion? Yes. Ryan? Yes. Townsend? Yes. Mayor Kilandrino? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you for your time. Uh, next, I have for you uh, retention of uh, law firm uh, Kitsch, Drutchess, <laughs> Wagner, Valuti, and Sherbrooke. I apologize. Uh, we have used them in the past for um, co-counsel in help with negotiating telecommunication matters. Um, there's a cell tower located in our city, and um, a representative of that cell tower has been um, trying to renegotiate um, some issues with us, and we need this telecommunications lawyer to help us with this. In your packet is his um, rates and the note that he had given us discounted rates before and whatnot. Any other questions? When you refer to telecommunication tower, you're referring to our radio towers for our prep radios for police and fire departments, correct? No, no I'm talking about the tower. tower down on Koth okay. uh, that is used by um, T-Mobile and, <coughs> and Verizon. Verizon. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's yes. If I can offer additional information, the city has always used outside counsel for that because it's a very specialized area of the law. Previously, we used Neil Lado, who is um, subsequently retired and is not doing this work. Okay. Um, and there's the very few people that actually are specialized in this area, not to mention the rates look mine look really good. <laughs> <laughs> So I was looking for a motion to be able to retain them for representation. So moved. Support. Motion by Mayor Pro Tem Sikora, support by Councilwoman Terenzi. Any discussion from Council? <laughs> Madam Clerk, a roll call vote, please. Sikora. Yes. Terenzi? Yes. O'Donnell? Yes. Dion? Yes. Ryan? Yes. Townsend? Yes. Mayor Calandrino? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I apologize. Yes, motion Thank carries. You. Madam Clerk, any uh, anything else to present to council tonight? I'm sorry, that's all. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Parks and Rec Commission. Lori, would you be representing Parks and Rec tonight? Um, I didn't know there was anything, though. No, no? <laughs> okay. Talk about the scarecrow. Say about yeah, the scarecrow. Yeah, our scarecrow. And, uh, I, I actually... Uh, can, you, can you go to the podium, though, so the cable broadcast that will pick up? Actually show this, uh, Make sure the mic is uh, green there. It is. I did. Uh, I showed the picture to uh, Councilwoman Terenzi earlier today 
Um, we, we made an adorable little scarecrow. Um, Utica Parks and Rec, we submitted it for Shelby Parks and Rec for their co scarecrow contest that they're doing. So we did a little female gardener. Um, well, it was supposed to be a, a dog, mm -hmm. but it ended up being a bird, which is actually, <laughs> and it was a skeleton bird, so it was actually really cute. <laughs> so it, we did end up uh, submitting that. So it's supposed to be, um, Sherry, where, where was it supposed to go to? Did either one of you guys remember? Yeah, it's not in is, is that where it was supposed I to go? I think it's on the I municipal think... grounds, isn't it? Shelby Township Municipal Grounds. Well, that's where we delivered it to, but they were going to be taking it to one of the one of their parks. The front, the yeah, the that's that. You're, you're, yes, yes, that is correct. Neat. So, and I know it's exercise. probably wearing a Utica Parks and Rec T-shirt. It I is. Saw. It is wearing yep. a Utica Parks and Rec T-shirt. Excellent. <laughs> uh, anything else, Lori? Is that it? No, that's it. Great. Thank yeah. you so much. <laughs> uh, nothing from Historic District Commission tonight. Uh, Ms. McGrill, anything from our city attorney? Nothing from legal. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Uh, at this point, uh, we open the floor to uh, for communication from the public for anything not on the agenda. If anybody would s like to address council. No? All right. I would be looking for a... Uh, Motion to adjourn. So moved. Support. Motion by Councilman Dion, support by Mayor Pro Tem Sikora. Any discussion? <laughs> Madam Clerk, roll call vote. Oh, I want to stay. Yeah. Sikora. Hey. <laughs> yes. Terenzi. Yes. O'Donnell. Yes. Dion. Yes. Ryan. Yes. Townsend. Yes. Mayor Calendrino. Yes.